My server has two sockets, but each socket has 32 cores. 32 cores? Standard Edition 2, or I would just call it Standard Edition now because it's pretty much the only Standard Edition that we offer. I've been reading the various frequently asked questions and license documents that say that Standard Edition is limited to 16 threads. My server has two sockets, but each socket has 32 cores. 32 cores? Am I allowed to run Standard Edition on this machine? When we're talking licensing, rule number one, I don't work for the legal department inside Oracle. I don't work for the licensing department at Oracle. So therefore, take everything here, not as a cast iron guarantee. It is literally my thoughts, which leads to rule number two. Whenever it comes to licensing, and this isn't just about Standard Edition, I cannot stress enough to you, you reach out to your local Oracle account manager. That's not me trying to just fob you off. The reason that is so critical is if you ever have any questions or queries or concerns about licensing, purchasing, etc. By having that person involved in a conversation, A, you've then got them on your side. They're going to be your champion when they go to you know, the, the broader Oracle organization. But also, they're going to be the person that's going to be able to give you A, the cast iron guarantees and things in writing. They're going to protect you if there's ever any confusion about licensing costs, etc. Having those guarantees protects you, the customer, and obviously protects Oracle's interests as well, such that everyone's on the same page. So with those two rules in mind, I'll give you my interpretation. On any version of Standard Edition I've ever seen, on this machine or on bigger machines, etc., my understanding is that what we do is we literally burn into the init.r parameters CPU count of 16. Even if you have more than that, the CPU count will be set to 16. I'm pretty sure you can't go above that. I think you get an error. But even if you could, all I would in, you know, insist that everyone does is that you set it to 16. Because once again, it's a protection to make sure that you and Oracle have a good understanding of the integrity of the licensing rules for standard edition. If you do that, set it to 16, then it doesn't matter how powerful your server is. We will only ever use up to 16 concurrent, uh, effectively threads of, of processing power. That way you're covered. So my reading of the uh, documents is yes, you can run standard edition on pretty much any server. I think, the, I think it's capped at two sockets. I don't think you can go more than two sockets, but on those two sockets, as sockets get ridiculously powerful and get more and more cores, you're limited to 16 and the database will take care of that itself to make sure that you are protect, protected from a license perspective. I'll do a quick sidebar on that, for example, is people say, oh, well, you know, I don't like that because, you know, 16 cores, 16 threads. I mean, that's going to be a problem because standard edition has no limits on size in terms of the database. So when the database gets bigger, am I going to have all sorts of problems in terms of CPU overheads, etc.? I'll throw this one little quick demo in. For me, standard edition has never been about processing power because computers are ridiculously fast nowadays. Really, for me, if you're choosing between standard and enterprise edition, I think you want to make that decision based on the features you require. If you require for your business certain core features that are part of the enterprise edition, then enterprise edition is a no brainer. If you don't need those features, I'll be very surprised if you ever reach the limits of the processing power that comes with standard edition. Let me run this little quick demo for you. I ran this as part of a previous talk this week, so I figured I'd run it for you. This is stock standard enterprise edition, but the reason I can use this and say it with some authority that it works for standard edition is because my machine, this machine I have right in front of me, is running Microsoft Windows, it's running 19, and it only has two CPUs and they're only six core CPUs. So I've only got 12 cores in total. So I'm not even close to what the limits of standard edition are. I'm running 10 consecutive threads, each of them doing 40,000 primary key lookups. And you can see they sat at around about, sorry, 400,000 primary key lookups. I ended up getting about 47,000 in this session. If I go to some of the other sessions, you'll see they all got about 45, 47,000. What does that mean? 10 concurrent sessions, 47,000 each. This $1,000 PC, which is now a few years old, is going to grind out about half a million primary key lookups a second. And you're worried about running out of processing power on standard edition? 
it's never going to be about processing power. It's always going to be about features. So focus on that, and that's going to best equip you to make decisions on standard versus enterprise edition. I want to clarify always see rules one and two. One is it's office hours here, not the legal department in the Oracle. And number two is please always communicate with your local account office for all the cast iron rules and the important legal information that's going to clarify you on licenses. Don't go to anyone who says, I went to Connor's session and he said this because you know what they're going to say? They're going to say, Connor who?